Steve from Design Squad, and I'm here with Nina, Sam, and Eric. <laughs> what would happen if I put this skewer through the balloon? It will pop. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> she is putting the skewer through the balloon and trying to make it not pop. And it worked. This is the unpoppable balloon. Try to put the skewer through the thickest part of the balloon. The thick part of the balloon is the darker part. Same on the other side. I am going to stick it in the thin part of the balloon. Oh! <laughs> there it goes! I think you better use the thick part of the balloon. And in it goes. I want to see what happens when I pull the stick back out. I just think the air is going to go whoosh! Wow, it just sealed right up. It Oh, it sealed you. right up. Rubber is made of long springy chains of molecules. Pushing the skewer into these molecules is like putting your finger into a bowl of cooked spaghetti. The spaghetti pushes aside, and when I remove my finger, the spaghetti closes up again. The spaghetti behaves like the rubber molecules. There you go. It reminded me of poking a straw through a juice box. I think there's like rubber or plastic or something in here that seals around the straw just like the rubber on the balloon sealed around the skewer. That's probably why Eric didn't spill it while he was drinking it upside down. The unpoppable balloon is a great magic trick and then you pull it back out and your friends and family might not think this is a real skewer. You can prove that to them like this. <laughs> Instructions to create your own unpoppable balloon are on the Design Squad website. Try that again. You can prove it to that to them like this. 